So for this tutorial, I will be showing you how to airdrop audio and cut it in Adobe Premiere. First, you're going to want to go to your voice memos and either record audio or airdrop one of the audio clips you have. So I'm choosing the president explanation audio and you're going to hit share and you'll hit airdrop. And so your computer number should pop up. My computer number is JMS12, so that's what I clicked, and it's going to say waiting, and then it says sending, and it'll say sent. So then you're going to go to com your computer, and you're going to go to student folders. Uh, okay, so the audio has airdropped over to the computer, and then you're going to want to go to downloads and select the audio that you chose to airdrop over, and you're going to go and open up audition. Then you're going to go to file and import file import file good okay and then you're going to go it's going to automatically take you to the downloads you're going to select the audio that you airdropped over and hit open so when you first open it it's going to give you you the audio in a waveform you're going to want to change that to a multi-track change it to a multi-track you're going to want to give it a title i chose to title my audio radio project so that's what i'm typing in and then you're gonna hit okay and then it'll open up as a multi-track. When it does this, you're gonna to wanna to re-put your audio back over to the right, select it, bring it over, good. Okay, so when you bring the audio over, it will look like this. And what you're going to want to do is make it bigger. So you make it bigger by kind of expanding on your keyboard, and then this is the audio. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, there's kind of like this space of nothingness. I'm not saying anything at the very beginning. So you want to get rid of that. So you're going to go up to the razor blade and you're going to click it and you're going to cut right where the audio starts, where it gets the loudest, where the waves are the loudest. And you're going to click the mouse icon and you're going to want to get click the stuff that's nothing and delete it. Click and delete. And then I moved my audio over. And we're going to do that process again. So razor, click right where the audio ends, go back to the mouse, click the part where it's nothing, click and delete on your keyboard. And so then you'll have some clean, clear audio. And this is what it should sound like. Perfect. And that is all. That is how you import audio and you edit in Adobe Audition. I hope this was helpful from Bell Media Group. This is Kataya Laster signing out.